Hey, what's up, y'all? Roz Goldenwater here with Andrew Lopez, and let's take a look at some of the Eastern Conference teams that right before the All-Star break were just on the cusp of playing in the postseason, and now that we're back in action, I want to ask Andrew, are they play-ins, are they playoffs, or are they played out? And what did the hand say to the ball? Not today! Okay, so Andrew, let's start with the New York Knicks. Right now a playoff team. Shout out to my New York City squad. And it's tight in the East though. So are they gonna be playoffs, play in, or played out for the Knicks? Ross, I just got a chance to see the Knicks in person in Madison Square Garden where they were honoring that f the 50th anniversary of their last NBA title. Uh, they looked fantastic. I was, I was amazing. They are playoffs to me. I don't see them dropping out any time. I know they were taking on a Pell squad that was kind of up and down, but they looked phenomenal. Julius Randle is getting up a bunch of shots. Jalen Brunson looks like a star. They are playoffs to me, no question. Yeah, I wanted to start you off easy. Knicks are in the playoffs, baby. Let's go. Thank and you. And, also, Thank you. and also, let's see them continue <laughs> to slide up on this playoff push. All right, let's talk about the other team in New York, the Nets. Now, they made some action at the trade deadline, but now they're without KD and Kyrie. So what does their future look like? Playoffs, play in, played out. What do you got for the Nets? They're, they're up and down, right? We've seen Mikhail Bridges have great nights. We've seen them have mm, maybe not so great nights. I'm going to put Nets in the play in. I think it's too far uh, where they're at right now to fall completely out. Uh, as Jacques Vaughn, who credit to Jacques Vaughn for one, getting the ship righted uh, first before all the uh, controversy kept going down uh, with Kyrie and KD. And of course, they're going to turn the lights out right now. Hey, well, look, <laughs> lights back on. Look at that. You're We're back. doing great. So I'm back. Brooklyn, for me, play in right now. I'm going to say Brooklyn with the play in. To a two three zone. Oh, the lights just went out. All right. Let's continue in the Eastern Conference and look at the Atlanta Hawks. Um, they let go of their coach, Nate Ooh. McMillan. But they're bringing in Quinn Snyder. Um, with everything that's been going on with them all year and where they are right now, playoffs, play in, played out. What do you got for the Hawks? I'm close to play it out, but I think Quinn Snyder is going to get things going back in the right way. Joe Prunty had a great 72 hours as the head coach of the Atlanta Hawks. Want to see how Quinn is going to get Trey Young incorporated, how he's going to get him start moving off the ball a little bit more, how he works with that duo of Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. Maybe the back end of play-in, but I'm going to keep them at play-in for right now. All right, let's take it to Miami. Okay, the Heat. Uh, trying to warm things up. It's been an up and down season for them. They just now get Kevin Love, though. Veteran experience there. Are they a play-in team, play-off, or played out? I like them as a playoff team, and it doesn't have really much to do with Kevin Love. I just think, as we heard from Jimmy Butler the other night, we got to figure this out. Tired of losing. Ah. I, I believe Jimmy Butler. I'm just that's that's the entire reason for me putting them in the playoffs is I believe Jimmy Butler that they're going to get it figured out. I know I'm a positive guy, but hey, Miami's going to be in the playoffs. All right, you believe in Jimmy Butler. How about this? Do you believe in the Bulls? Okay, Chicago. They're trying to push their way somewhere. They just added Patrick Beverly. If you ain't ask me for no tickets, don't start asking me for them now. <laughs> what do you got for the Bulls here? Look. While we've been doing this, I've been very, I was very positive with all of our West teams. I was very positive with most of our East teams. Roz, this is going to be the first one. I got the Bulls played out of the playoffs right now. I just think there's just so much going on right now. They're hanging right now onto that 10. It, it just feels really rough in what's going on. I know they had a really good first game with Pat Bev. I, I, I don't know if they keep that going. So of this group, I'm going to go Bulls played out. Dang, I've been doing this with you. That is your first played out. That's my okay, first Chicago. one. It's my first one. <laughs> right, mostly you've been all love. Okay, let's tap in with the number one overall draft pick, Paolo Bencaro. Anthony Lopez. Woo! Muscles in. That's a poster that would be worth some money right there, those two guys. Yeah. <laughs> no question. <laughs> what about the Orlando Magic? Any opportunity for them to play in, play Ooh. off, play out? I don't know if they can get to play in, but I'll tell you what, Jamal Mosley has these guys playing uh, at a high level for, for where they were considered to be. You thought they were going to be in that mix for Victor Wimbanyama with the bottom four teams in the league, and they're just continuously pushing. Uh, Jamal is trying some really good fun lineups. He's got Paolo running the point sometimes. He's got Franz Wagner running the point sometimes. They are played out right now, but I would really like what is going on in Orlando. I'm about to watch him tonight. We'll see how it goes.
Awesome. Well, that's our roundup right here for all the quizzes I got for you on the Eastern Conference. Look, the main thing is just make sure you don't play yourself as we head into the playoffs, right? That's a good life thought. I'm gonna, I'm, a, I'm gonna make sure I don't. I'm gonna go play with these lights and make sure they stay on next time. That's what I'm gonna go do. Ah, oh, cue! Look at that. Wow! All right. Well, that means mic drop. Lights out, and we're done with our segment. Thank you so much, Andrew. <laughs>
I tried to get as many as him. I couldn't get there. It was a noble effort, though. Yes, noble effort. <laughs> but yeah, Bill Russell and Larry Bird, they were the two obvious ones. And then you, you got a lot of choices to fill in around them. Awesome. Well, there's so much talent through like Celtics lore and legacy um, and just so much to reflect on and, and see how great the, the history of this franchise has been. So thank you for all of your knowledge and coming up with an all-time starting five, Tim. You got it, Ross. Thanks for having me.